hello everyone welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here you are so so welcome yeah as from the title we already know like i tried growing potatoes in in togo you know normally the norm is potatoes can thrive in like areas with a lot of heat like high temperatures and i was like okay maybe i can try and see the result but personally, I've been trying to grow potatoes in Togo for about, um, like, since I came here. I've been trying, but I had this problem because each time I stick my potatoes into the ground, they will rot. And uh, I was like, what's the reason? Like, why would my potatoes rot? And maybe it's because of the heat. And uh, you know, I came up, I came up with something. Like I had to do a lot of research on how the potatoes can grow, like how I can like grow my potatoes and my seed potatoes my seed potatoes will not rot. And before I thought maybe the potatoes were um, I don't know spoiling in the ground because they were like store bought potatoes. So I was like maybe that's the reason, but actually that was not the reason because the ones that I did now are also store bought potatoes because potatoes don't grow in Togo and there is no way I'm going to get like certified seeds in Togo because normally potatoes don't grow in Togo maybe I have to import them but you know yeah so I decided to try with store bought potatoes but this time around I had to sprout them yeah I had to sprout them for about two weeks yeah so so with some so with some sun and uh, water i had to sprout my potatoes for two weeks yeah you know just like moist sun not like with a lot of water the sun was just like moist and uh, you know slightly wet not like really wet so i had to sprout my potatoes for two weeks and i was really really happy with the result like everything was looking okay everything was good i was like oh my god finally because if you have a success in sprouting your seeds, there is no reason why you not grow. So after I, 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 after sprouting my, my, my seed potatoes, I decided to grow them in bags. Yeah, because I didn't really have like a space where I could grow them in the soil. So I decided to grow them in bags. And, uh, you know, besides, I wanted to grow them in bags so that I could control the soil. Because... I learned that if you use like if you grow potatoes in like really loose soils they can really thrive so I decided to get like sun and uh, you know wood chips which is sawdust and some manure some chicken manure of course and before you use chicken manure as well you have to like I don't know mix it with the, you don't have to add a lot because they might en end up burning the plant and uh, you know you have to prepare it because the guy was like you have to like bury the chicken mayo for a while maybe like a month so that it can decompose a little and before you can add it to your plants you cannot just like add them directly so when when i went to the poultry he gave me like the ones that were that he had already prepared for like a month or more you know he had to dig it from somewhere yeah so i was really happy though so I went to the sawmills and I, I got my wood chips or sawdust. <laughs> yeah, I got them there and uh, I came. So the mixture was just, was basically sun and uh, sun, sawdust and, and manure. Yeah, I felt like with this I was going to try, you know, because I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, how people were growing potatoes with wood chips, straws and everything. And I was really happy with the results. I was like oh my god maybe this time i'm going to make it big yeah so after about two weeks my potatoes were popping up oh my god like green everything oh very healthy potatoes like very healthy plants yeah they were popping up very green and uh, i was really really happy with the results you know i've always wanted to grow potatoes I grew up growing potatoes from Cameroon because you know where I come from is very cold and we live in like hilly our area is hilly you know potatoes do thrive in like um, areas with hills and very cold temperatures so that's where I come from like it's very cold and the temperatures 
oh my god the temperatures are very cold but and it's mountainous as well you know so these are the kind of areas where you you can really grow potatoes so i was like i'm going to break the norm even though Lume is not hilly and it's very hot maybe i can still do in in Lume. so why not try and besides i was like you know in this country they import potatoes they don't grow potatoes here so if i can grow potatoes that would be like a very big business something for me because nobody is growing potatoes just imagine doing business without any competition like do you know the kind of money you can make yeah so i was like i think i should do it yeah so you know the plants were doing well but you know there is this problem in in togo you know potatoes are very prone to blight and uh, there is this um, problem like when it comes to blight first of all what causes blight you know a little moisture and heat and your plants are gone your plants are gone so i i was really worried with this as well and uh, um, you have to buy some chemicals to spray on the potatoes to prevent them from getting blight yeah at the at the moment my potatoes are doing so well like and uh, we have like three months before we can harvest i have like three months before i can really harvest to show you guys actually i wanted to like make a video where i grow them to harvest but you know i could, I, I could not really wait to share this <laughs> I could not really wait to share this yeah so actually even if I'm to grow potatoes here in Togo I'm going to target an area where um, it's quite mountainous like the plateau region that's like in in Atapkame and uh, Palime you know these areas are very cold my temperatures they are not like really really high temperatures you know Lome is quite hot because you know it's congested so there is heat of course but if you go to these areas where it's not really congested even though it can really get hot in the summer but I think potatoes can grow you know why because I was like how can people say potatoes cannot grow in hot temperatures I was watching this video like just go and google um, just go and watch videos of how potatoes are being grown in Burkina Faso Burkina Faso is in like in the north of Togo that's the temperature there is very high and you know these people they grow potatoes with the aid of um, irrigation only I don't even think they depend on rain and they were like you know their potatoes will even thrive during the dry season more than the rainy season I was like if these people are doing it why can't I <laughs> like, because normally Burkina Faso is hotter than Togo yeah that's like up, up there in the north so I think it can be done in Togo so why not why not give it a try yeah so so far so good I'm really happy with my results like oh my god how green <laughs> yeah I'm really happy that I'm breaking the norm like I can actually grow potatoes in Togo and harvest yeah the other time i was checking on that and i saw like some very tiny potatoes popping out so i was really really happy about it like i cannot really wait to harvest and give you all the full results and uh, what do you also think about growing potatoes in togo like do you think it's a good thing to do and will you invest in potato farming for me personally potato farming is like how can i say potato is like gold you know it's like gold it's it's something that is very very lucrative remember i grew up growing potatoes so i know what i'm talking about and that's why i really wanted to do it here in togo now that i'm in togo yeah because you know i'm very patriotic i love to go i don't want to go anywhere i want to stay here that's why i want to do things that really work for me and of course my daughter loves potatoes so that's why i really wanted to grow them and um uh, i'm really happy i'm doing this yeah i'm really happy i'm doing this so um you know when you want to grow potatoes in hot regions or very hot areas all you need to do is sprout your potatoes sprout your potatoes before you grow them i also noticed like people in burkina faso since the weather over there is very hot before they grow their potatoes they will sprout them you know they will sprout them before taking them to the field but for us in cameroon usually yes you can grow potatoes and uh, like you you can sprout potatoes before growing normally the seeds that you buy are already like sprouting or whatever yeah but even if they are not like 
already sprouted am i saying it correctly whatever if the potatoes are just like regular potatoes and you stick them in the ground trust me they will grow but in togo that's not the case because it's very hot here and one thing that is really pushing me to do potato farming in togo is that the soils are very fertile the soils in togo like they are very fertile and potatoes can really thrive in sandy soils and of course the soils here are sandy soils and I feel like potatoes can really do well here so why not give it a try yeah so why not give it a try I don't want to grow like regular crops that are being grown in this country because like okay everybody is growing this crop so normally it's going to be cheaper but if you grow something that let's say you have like zero competition do you know the kind of money you make yeah so the crops that I'm really passionate about growing like I like I really want to grow like lots of plantains and lot of potatoes because I feel like these are the things that are really really expensive in the market like if I grow these items I can really really make a lot of money yeah so uh, I don't know yeah so I was thinking of adding some fertilizers though apart from the organic fertilizers I added I was thinking of adding some fertilizers to see if I'm going to get like better yield but I wanted to stick to organic fertilizers yeah because you know the, the normal chemical fertilizers are not really good but I wanted to see if the yields are going to be better with those maybe I'm just going to add a little bit of it in one of the sacks and see the difference yeah and uh, there is also one mistake I did when I was growing these potatoes like you know because I was really afraid that maybe the temperature is too high so I had to keep my plants in the shade which is a very bad idea because potatoes really like sunlight yeah they really really like sunlight so actually I had my potatoes in the shade for about two weeks or three weeks and you know the stems were like getting too long that's the moment I knew that wasn't good for the plant because when your stems are getting like super super long then they are not doing well so I had to move them to another area with Sun and uh, I saw a very big difference yeah I saw a very big difference so now my only problem is the blight issue because there are like some tomatoes around my plant that have like blight and I'm really afraid it might spread to my potatoes because if it does oh my god <laughs> like I don't know I'm just hoping for the best though I'm just hoping for the best and uh, have you ever thought about growing potatoes in Togo what was your experience did the potatoes do well do you have any tips you want to share with me yeah I would really really appreciate it though yeah so if you would like to see my potatoes results maybe in like one month i'm going to do the harvesting let me know yeah so that's potato farming in togo for today thank you all for watching i really really appreciate you thank you so much